Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use DPD for your scheduling. So let's start. The first thing that you want to do is go to top right and click start free trial. I'll just add here my work email and name Marcus. I agree and get started. Now we'll just wait until it loads. And now, welcome to the beauty Marcus. What do you like to do today? Do you own a business or manage a team? Uh, if you don't just join existing team, I'm going to discover. So what is your business name? Sanwi LLC. Then what do best describe your business? I'm in uh, services. Select your industry. Let's say that I would be in professional services. And then um, how many employees do you need to manage? One to nine. Next. What brings to DBD? Save time scheduling, track hours worked, process your team's pay. I'm going to click track hours worked. How do you currently track hours worked? Let's say that I'll be on pen and paper. If you're gonna have like spreadsheet, I believe that you can also like import things. So pen and paper, click next. When are you lo looking to improve the way you track hours work? As soon as possible. How did you hear about DPD? Search the internet. Create a business. Now let's just wait until it's, everything is going to set up. And then we will continue directly in the software and I will show you how we can use everything. DPD is like really simple program that you can use. And you will see it's nothing to be uh, afraid of. So, okay, when you enter, what do we see here? First thing first, uh, learn how to use the beauty by Compute Task and get three days added to your trial. So what we can do is we can go by tasks done, but I don't know when you're watching this uh, video, so I don't know if you're gonna see this. So what you can do simply, let me just show you the menu and then we'll continue. First thing first, you're gonna have me here. Me, you can start shift here. This is what the employees are going to see. Then we're going to see the news feed, like updates and important posts. And you can keep your team across important updates. You can create a post here. Then next to the news feed, we're going to see tasks. In tasks, you can simply add a task group. So let's say that I would like add a task group here, or I can simply add a task or I can assign a task. So what you can do is you can simply add a task here. And let's say create a YouTube video assigned to Marcus due date 20th of August. Save. Okay, this is how you create a task. And then you would see like my tasks here. And we can clearly see the task. Then we're gonna see locations here. People in people, you can simply add a people in locations. Uh, you can like department, client in your business, etc. People, I can simply go on the right side, click add people, and you can add a single person, add an import multiple people or advanced as you import. If you want, guys, I'm going to close this out because I don't know if when you're watching this video, like one year from now, you would see this. So I will just like lower it down, add a single person, and I can go first name, let's say Marcus employee works at Sunwi LLC, email, mobile is not inform, like important. Then we have job information, access level, you can have it as an employee, supervisor, location manager, system administrator, stress profile, normal 48 hours per week, or we can go standard 40 hours, eight hours per day. You can change the profile picture, add a contact address, country, city, employment details and you can like how much you're gonna pay him uh, in Saturday Sunday public hour holiday rate you can edit everything here that you want about the employee and other so I'm going to click save now so as you can see we see it right here and we have our employee right Marcus employee when I would have a task here and I would click on here and add a task I can simply assign it to Marcus employee. So assign tasks, YouTube video, 
So that's something you can do, right? Now, when we have the people, we have location, you're going to see the schedule. This is like the main area that you're going to be in. And here, what you can do, so let's see that we have the open shifts here. We have the company, we have the week here. Open shifts, Marcus, Marcus employee. You can add new employee here. And what I can do, this is like manager stylist, agent. You can add a new area if you want to. Area name, I can like marketing. Blue areas are way to group shifts inside locations. Use them to designate specific roles, stations or types of work that employees will be scheduled for. Now, preferred employees, let's go me. And then click save. And voila, here we have it. So what I can do now, let's say that today is Wednesday, I can go to Thursday or Friday. I would click plus and you see it right here. So we see who is working and I can go me in which area. Let's say I will go to marketing from 9 a.m. to finish. And then this is how would I do it. Yeah, I can also repeat for the rest of the week. And as you can see, when I clicked on repeat for the whole week, it's everywhere, right? So this is how we do it. So let's say that that would be, I want to create it for reception. So I'm going to click for the reception. Now I want to edit who is working for the Marcus employee. I can have it as open shift if I want to. Which area reception. Then I've start, finish, mental break, okay. And then I can press save or I can add also for the rest of the week again. And voila, it automatically created for every single day. See, it's really good. Now, when I would come here, I can again click view profile, shift, timesheet. Personal details here, you can edit the profile here and edit everything about the profile. Now what you can do is go to top right and click publish sh six shifts. I can go options, I can remove or employees empty shifts. Deal, lead, bulk update, export it, you can see statistics here. Copy shifts even, right? Publish, okay. I'm going to public everything and no notification publish and this is how you can publish easily on your shifts you can also approve when you come here to the timesheets you can approve timesheets what was happening and you can simply click add a timesheet so this is next to the reports so add timesheet Employee Marcus. So this is something you can do too. Then you can scheduling rules here. Again, these are the rules that you can have, right? You can change it, of course, in the settings. And this is pretty much it how you do it guys. So it's pretty straightforward. It pre it's pretty simple. How you do it and this is how you can use the beauty. So this is a quick walkthrough how we can use the beauty program for scheduling. Thank you very much. And if you can have any questions write down below in comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.